What's up guys, it's Blue Guy, and welcome to another Dragon Ball Xenoverse customization video. Today I am bringing you two females from the Persona 3 series, and that is Yukari and Mitsuru. Now, the first person I'll be doing is Yukari, and she's a human, as we all know, or most of us should know. And she's, she's kind of, well, they made the human females kind of short in this game, so you might as well just jack up the height to as tall as you can. She's not too skinny, so she's like medium. Uh, I figured her eyes would be, you know, sort of, kind of like that because, well, you know, the two different types, you know, in the, one in the other game and these two arts kind of clash, so I just figured this would be the best one. And we got a uh, decent mouth, decent ears you can leave, and the skin tone, much like all the other parts, are the, you know, mostly the same for a lot of uh, the anime females. Her hair is... It's like a lightish brown, kind of. It's like around here. Right, I think, here? Or that one? It's one of these, but I'll just go with this one. And her eyes are the same color as her hair. So, that's easy enough. Uh, the clothes we won't have to worry about, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and name her... Hmm. Oh yeah, her voice. Uh, she has like a light voice, kind of. Alright, now for the name. The name... Mm, let's go with the homie Junpei's uh, interpretation. Yukatan. You know, if you played Persona 3 in the beginning, that's the nickname Junpei gives her, which... It's pretty cool, so let's just stick with that for now. Yukatan. I think that's how you spell it. I hope that's how you spell it. Um, in terms of combat, she is very, very ranged. Especially if you played uh, Persona 4 Ultimax and all that. Alright, so now that we have Yukari out of the way, we are going to move on to Mitsuru, the best one. And once again, she is an Earthling, she's a human. Female. Once again, very short human females, so you gotta jack up the height. And uh, she's not too thin, so just keep that as it is. Her hair. Now, I had to give her the Yamcha hair. Mostly because they don't have like the, a decent long flowing hair, at least in this game. Maybe the sequel will have something better, who knows. Her eyes, I gave it the same kind of as Yukari. Uh, the mouth, you know, you can just adjust and the ears are basically the same. Her skin tone is the same as Yukari's, more or less. And her hair is like a, a red but it's not bright red, it's like kind of like darkish in the, well I'm going by the game, you know, the Persona 4 Arena, so it's kind of darkish, but if you see her younger, she kind of has brighter hair, I don't know, it's weird. Now, her voice is a little deeper and kind of sensual, so we'll just run with that one. And I like Mitsuru a lot, so I'll respect her and just name her Mitsuru Senpai since in Persona 3 that's pretty much your status as player and as a social thingy. Senpai. And no, she does. Well, she kind of notices you, so mission accomplished, maybe? Kind of? That we'll see, okay. So we're gonna go to confirm. And her fighting style. In the game, she's kind of mixed. Well, she's up close, and she's, you know, at a distance, at least in Persona 3. In the fighting game, she's mostly right. She's mostly close, kind of. Alright, let's go to the the dress for, yeah, for Yukari. So, for the most part, it's just going around by schoolgirl outfits. You know, student skirt. Once again, these aren't really for battle-oriented, you know. You're gonna have to find a different mix for Yukari. But in terms of look, yes, this is what you want to run with. Student skirts, just student stuff, just school stuff, more or less. You could give her some kind of accessory, but I don't think there's like a bow in this game. Or I don't have any DLC, so I wouldn't know. And the colors you're going to need are this pink, which is like right, up, like right below the white, which is cool. It's easy to find. And uh, not pure white, a little off-white because, you know, just for some consistency. And finally red, which is like a really kind of in the middle red, you know, a few spaces off from black. And the other one is just black. And her boots are brown. So, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. 
And I think we should go for her skills now, shall we? Okay, for her skills, I have Power Blitz, you know, for Android 18, and plus it looks cool. Gravity Impact, kind of for like the Garu effect. And then we got Burst Rush, because it looks cool, and also, you know, it suits her, I think so. Uh, Super Drain, because she's a human and she's gonna need as much, you know, energy as she can. The Blue Hurricane, because, you know, wind stuff. Symphonic Destruction, also because of wind stuff. And Vanisher Guard, because of, you know, Protect slash... I forgot what the name of the ability was in Persona 3, but yeah. That's what it is. So, now we're gonna go for Mitsuru stuff. More or less, she kind of looks the same, except with a few alterations, so... Not as bad, but more, you know, she's a little, a little different, at least in terms of move and design, obviously. Hers is a lot simpler. You just need off-white, you know, I mean, you could go with all, you need full white, but off-white looks better to me. And, you know, the same red that Yukari had because of the, the little bow thing. Black for her lower body, she was wearing like a black skirt, kind of, and she had black boots, so that's cool. Now for the skill set. I had a hard time, honestly. So I gave her Meteor Crash for the, you know, the all-out attack. The uh, Tyrant Lancer from one of the moves in Persona 4 Arena that involved um, one of the ice spells. I forgot the name. A Frimage for like a dodge aspect. Deadly Dance looks amazing on her, to be honest. All-out attack part 2, which is Victory Rush. And Spirit Sword for the her rapier kind of thing. And Vanishing Guard once again for... I forgot the name of the ability, I'm sorry. So those are the two Persona females, hope you guys enjoy the montage, and I'll see you for another customization!